Hello and Rand here playing Cattle and Crafts. Only my uh, third try in recording this intro here this time around. Uh, I keep saying Farming Simulator for some reason. I mean, technically everyone, this is a Farming Simulator. It's just a Cattle and Crops version of Farming Simulator. Uh, of course, I'm the acclaimed Farming Simulator that was supposed to replace the Farming Simulator, right? Yeah, I don't think that's ever happened yet, has it? Uh, anyway, between episodes, I went ahead and hired a worker to plant another field there. I went through a... Kind of wanted to figure out how to hire a worker. Definitely uh, quite the process here in this game, shall we say. I I'm not sure if there's different ways of doing it or not, but the way I did it, I'm definitely, uh, definitely quite the progress. We got, I don't know what field number this is. Actually, it'd be really nice Evan, if they would number the fields on the map. That would be actually really nice, wouldn't it? Uh, they don't appear to do that in the game, so that might be a good uh, good suggestion for them. Put the field numbers on the map. That way, because uh, otherwise, Evan, the only way to know is I got to click on the field here. Then it brings up, okay, this one here. Okay, now it's field 22, right? So yeah, anyway, got that uh, field planted, planted barley on both fields here, and uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I have no idea what to make of all this data. I mean, they're, <laughs> oh my goodness, that one, like, what in the world is all this? No clue, no clue. So anyway, there's a lot of data in this game, apparently, that one. Um, this definitely, I would say, is boarding more on, like, the uh, detailed simulation, I would say. I think that's what they're going for, which, hey, no complaints, that one. I think that's kind of cool. Um, might be a little more complicated than some people are looking for. That is for sure. Uh, probably more complicated than what I'm uh, looking for. But again, I mean, at least from what I can tell, you don't necessarily have to uh, use all of that data. Uh, this field is planted here eh, as well. And we got uh, barley on this. This is the field we planted uh, last uh, last episode here. Uh, speaking of which, I was going to check the fertilizer status on these fields here. Let's uh, go back to this one here, field 14. I'm uh, going to see once if we can fast forward time this episode, everyone, and maybe get to plant, uh, get to harvesting. I'm sorry, do some harvesting. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see once here. Uh, but anyway, we got barley uh, fertilizer wise, nitrogen. We're looking at 142. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, here's the. Uh, it says uh, if I understand this correctly, we want 150. So we're pretty close, everyone. Uh, we want 76 on the P, so we're definitely a little low there, and we're definitely a little low on the potassium, which I don't quite get, Evan, because the planter was supposed to put down fertilizer, right? So that should have bumped our numbers up, but I don't know if it did. Uh, let's go check this field here. I'm not sure why the different colors on the field. I don't quite understand this, and if you notice that one, oh, is it maybe because I own it? Uh, I went ahead and purchased field 22, by the way, so if you can tell, we own this field. Uh, actually, you know what? we might as well. Can we... Let's just buy it because it's not that expensive, is it? What is the? Is there a price? Yeah, the twenty-three. Buy. We can afford that. Okay. Um. Oh, owned. There we go. So uh, field fourteen. Uh, that does change the color. Okay. Uh, so if you own the field, I mean, then it does change. That's what the color difference is. I was wondering if that's what that was or not. Um, fertilizer, not terrible, not great, but not terrible either. That is actually probably better than the other field. So the planter must have put down fertilizer on this field. I don't know why it didn't on the other one though. Um, you can also click on the uh, visual here, and I don't know what did I do wrong in this field. I have no idea. No idea. Did I? Looks like I almost forgot to turn it on once. That's what it kind of looks like, and I'm not sure what's going on there. This field is definitely a bit of a mess, and we got some striping going on there. I no idea what happened there either. Everyone, not a clue. Weird stuff afoot. But anyway, uh, yeah, this field definitely looks like it's nice. Uh, growth factors, ground condition. Uh, there's so much information in this game. I, I like I said, I'm no idea. Crumbliness, crumb density, upper soil density, lower soil density, uh, surface wetness. Well, that's probably good. Well, z wait, zero percent? No, zero percent's a good thing. No idea. Uh, field capacity. Um, imagine everyone if you went through the tutorials. That might be a little more informative and tell you what to do or what some of this information is about. Cultivated. Seed. Yeah, okay. Well, I think what we're going to do, we're going to see once if we can uh, fast forward some time here and maybe see once what happens. So off to the house. That's where we could sleep, right? And we're going to see once if we can, uh, I don't know, maybe skip a month or something here. I think was this it? I forget where we have to go to sleep here again. I thought it was in the house, wasn't it? Let's actually go back to first person view too, by the way. Oh, uh, let's see once here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna sleep how many days? So we can go 96 days. Well, we probably don't want to go that for 100 days, huh? Let's go, let's try 40 days. 
in zero hours. We'll just go from, what are we, 10.30? Is this 10.30 in the morning? Or is that 12.5? Ah, okay. Uh, that'll be five. That'll be six. Well, let's go at least, uh, let's go to June, at June 10, sure. That looks pretty good to me. Please wait. Sleeping. Sleeping. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't know how fast the crops grow in this game here, so let's go uh, take a look at our fields here. Get my bearings here a minute. Okay, straight ahead of us here. Oh, that's right. Do not hold shift to run. I keep uh, forgetting that here in this game. I mean, you can't hold shift. It is just a uh, normal, normal walk. Okay, so the fields have grown. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. I wasn't sure. I wanted, like farming simulator when you sleep through the night. A lot of times, you have to like wait just a little bit for the... The map to update, right? But uh, looks like it does already updated. Wow, that is a uh... wow! Look at that crop texture. That is uh that is a beautiful crop texture. I don't know about you folks, but uh, hopefully that comes through on the video. By the way, uh, I know sometimes when you record the video and by the time it gets uploaded to YouTube, the quality kind of meh. But this is wow! That is uh that is a crop texture. I mean, giants could definitely learn from this one. I imagine the field's gonna look the same, but we'll go over there and take a look anyway, right? Looks like it's almost ready to harvest, too. So I'm thinking uh, if we maybe uh, skip another month here, we might be ready to harvest, maybe? Bunkers here, by the way. Not implemented yet. Huh. Bummer. You know, again, everyone, they definitely have some big, big plans for this game. Whether or not all those plans actually ever happen, good question. I don't know, but... I will have to say the crop textures look really good. GPS, I, I have I mentioned everyone, I really like the GPS in this game. In case I haven't, I do really like the GPS in this game. Definitely like that. Okay, well, let's go back into the house. Everyone, we'll go ahead and uh, sleep for a little more here yet. Sneaking through the bushes here. Reminder again, by the way, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the RDL and multiplayer servers, you're welcome to do so. That information down below in the description there. Anyone is welcome to join as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. Let's uh, see, in through there, in through here, in through here. There we go. Okay, uh, well, we don't need to sleep 69 days. Let's go... We go to like mid-July. Sure, that looks, that looks pretty good. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, there we go. Back out we go. Gotta yeah, remember, don't push shift to run, because we're already running, apparently. Oh, oh, uh, we might be ready to harvest, Evan. We might be ready to harvest. Hopefully we didn't go too far here. I'm not sure what kind of range we have as far as being able to harvest the crops here in this game. Again, I'll have to say, on the uh, crop textures, those are some pretty good crop textures here. I will definitely have to give it to Cattle and Crops team on that one. That does look nice. Now, keep in mind, Evan, I am running on, I think, pretty much about as good as the graphics get, to my understanding. They are ultra settings, so they are pretty good. Or should be, anyway. Looks like that field is ready to harvest here. So let's go check and see what's what the uh, information screens tell us here on this one. Uh, so field 22, spring barley growth. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that... The growth is not all the way, so I have no idea. Should we, like, uh, maybe go forward like a couple days? I have no idea. Genetic yield potential soil type. Um, like, is there something that tells us it's ready to be harvested? I mean, it looks ready to be harvested to me based on the color. But then again, I mean, it could look that way for a while because uh, it does need to dry down as well, right? So let's... uh. Maybe go back to the house. I know, back to the house here again, huh? Right, don't push shift. And we'll uh, we'll sleep for, like, maybe a couple days here just to 
let's see what's what happens. Hopefully, uh, actually, no, let's do this. I'm going to save game. Just in case. That way, if it is ready to harvest here and we accidentally go too far. What is this here, by the way? Getting distracted, everyone. Mm, I don't think that's anything, is it? I don't think so. Yeah, we're going to sleep for, what if we get like five days or yeah, six, sure, go well, six days. That sounds good. Okay. Back out here again we go. Actually, we don't even have to go. Let's just go check the map. What's the map say? I don't think it's moved at all, has it? I don't think so. So I think with that being said, let's um let's try harvesting. That looks like the uh, next step, if you ask me. So let's go buy a harvester. I mean, that seems logical, right? If we're going to do some harvesting, we need a harvester. So where are our harvesters at? Harvesters. There's the forage harvesters. I want the regular combines. Oh, combines. Okay. Uh, Class Tucano 570. Oh, is that the only one available? I guess that's the only one available. Uh, it is what it is. 354. Uh, 10,000. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Capabilities. Requires trans... Requires transport? Okay, no idea what that means. Harvest. Threshing. Cool. We'll... And let's have that delivered to the farm here. Gotta say, I do like that feature. I mean, hopefully, uh, Giants maybe implement something like that into their game as well. Farming Simulator 22. I will have to say, everyone, I mean, the game, uh, th th this game, Cattle and Crops here, it needs more. But what is here, everyone, is really promising, if you ask me. Because, like, when you go to the shop, too, everyone, now, um, I think they could use to work on the shop here a little bit. The shop needs a little bit of work, if you ask me. Uh, they could uh, definitely improve upon that interface a little bit, I think. But what is there and shows some really good potential. Same thing with the guidance steering system in the game here. Looks really good as well, if you ask me. Now, we do need a header. Uh, combines. Uh, that was under a different category, I'm assuming, right? Where would I find combine headers? Bailers. It wasn't. Yeah, it's not under combines. Cutters. Ah, cutters. That probably makes sense, right? Yes, class Vario. And what's the biggest one we can get? A 1230? I don't know, that seems a little big for our current combine, right? Compatible with a Claws 570 combine. Okay, it says it's compatible. I have no idea. Not super familiar with the uh, Claws combine sizes, but we'll buy it. Uh, we can afford that, right? We got uh, 150000 left yet, so we're getting a little low on uh, the money. Oh, that went... Did that go to the vehicle trader? Bummer. Shoot. We're going to have to uh, run down to the vehicle trader and pick that up then, aren't we? Okay, fine. I'll tell you what, folks, in that case, I will uh, meet you back at the farm here. Uh, oh, we're going to need a trailer, too, aren't we? Uh, we'll go pick that header up here a minute, and we'll be right back. The shop isn't too far away. Okay, well, and we're back to the farm here, almost with the header anyway. We're just going to probably start harvesting right here at the bottom portion of the field, at least of a lettuce. Again, I'm not 100% sure if this is right to harvest or not, but we're going to find out here. So just stop here. Now, one thing I've noticed, I'm going to zoom out. Not sure what's up with kind of the weird tracks up and down the field. Not sure what's uh, causing that. But anyway, we got our header. Let's uh, mark and break. There we go. That stopped the combine. Apparently, it must be a pretty good hill here or something. Come on, combine. Let's, let's back it up. No, I guess we're, we're not going to back up, are we? Okay, well, fine. We'll just uh, start harvesting then. Wow. That's a boom. Drop down. That's immediate uh, down with the header. Okay, no real animation on the actual harvesting of the header yet, is there? You know, again, Farming Simon has the uh, animation. That definitely looks uh, pretty nice, but uh, nothing here. Just some particle effects on the crop disappear. Also, very interesting uh, shower of straw coming out the back. It seems a little heavy, if you ask me, but, uh, I mean, okay. Anyway, when we are harvesting. Well, we can harvest relatively quick, too. Let's, uh... Turn on cruise control here. Let's see once here. I don't know what. Uh, 12 kilometers an hour? Sure. Apparently there must not be like any sort of speed control in the game. I don't know if there's like an advantage. Like if you go too fast, is that such a thing? Also looks like we could use the raise that reel up. Can I raise the reel up? I can.
We do have cruise control on here, but there we go. This combine seems to be a little slow and uh, sluggish and moving here sometimes. Reminds me of the uh, John Deere's the STS series combines in Farming Simonite, the modded ones. Where, yeah, sometimes they just do not want to move. Get a little bit of a hill and they're just like, all done. Nope, not going anywhere. I could be wrong here, but it looks like they got a little bit of tire deformation going on here. Oh, yeah, okay, we got some animations. Oh, it's seven. The combine does look pretty good. Those are some really nice looking tires on there, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why the guy's not holding the steering wheel. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I mean, like, the steering wheel maybe needs to be moved or folded out somehow. Probably uh, something I'm missing there. Minor detail, if you ask me, though. Oh, what do you folks think? Will we be able to fill the combine up with this field? It's going to be close, I think. We're about half full here already. Now, is there a... Uh, ooh, here's the question. Is there crop destruction in the game? Don't really want to test this theory just at the moment, to be honest. Okay, apparently R opens the pipe there. Good to know. Accidentally push R instead of T there to set the cruise control. Well, I guess we figured that one out because I would have been guessing what he it was there next to open that pipe. Takes care of uh, the guesswork on that problem. Oh, and I, that must be the G. That's an interesting uh, GPS there. I can't say I've ever seen that done before. I'm assuming in like a road transport mode, it probably folds down to be on my assumption on that one. Also, we'll be curious to see once what happens when we're actually all the way full here. When, I know uh, some of the other Farming Simulator-like games, uh, when you fill up, they'll just uh, stop, like Giants version of Farming Simulator. Then other games, I mean, they'll just keep on harvesting, and you're essentially wasting your crop. So I wonder what approach this game took. You know, technically, in real life, I mean, there's really no such thing as, like, 100% full in the combine. It's just <laughs> pretty much how we're full, the harvesting operator can fill it without uh, overflowing, pretty much, right? And uh, occasionally over full kind of tends to happen a lot. Hence, you know, the terms like cab corn and such. Okay, one more pass, and I don't think we'll be able to feed it all in the combine here, although visually it looks like we should be able to. Taking it slow here, because I want to see what's what happens when we actually fill up. Okay, it does stop harvesting. Good to know. Wasn't sure, just kind of curious there. Let's go ahead and uh, stop here. We'll set the parking brake. Pipe out. And then we need to visit the shop here again. I want to purchase a trailer here. Also, probably should set that seat or somewhere. Not sure. Maybe we'll set it over by the bunkers there. Looks like probably a pretty good parking spot. Oh, very nice slowdown animation on that header. Very nicely done. I like that. Oh, okay. Did not know you could go that. View. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Not sure how I even got to that view, to be honest. Yep, looks like a parking spot to me. Nope, I actually don't want to disconnect there. I want to disconnect, or is that the only spot I can disconnect at? Can I somehow select... Hmm. I wonder if I get out of the tractor here. No, I'd want to... Uh, is this it? 
Detach. There we go. Yeah, okay. If I get out of one, then I can detach there. I wonder, I don't know if there's a way in the controls to do that or not, but you can do it that way. That'll work. Okay, then we need to visit the shop, pick up a trailer. Oh, let's see what's our trailers. Are they tra yes, they are called trailers. Okay, we need... How much does that one hold? 19 meters cubed. Capabilities. Transport. Okay, it doesn't really say like what kind does like hold everything. That's 18.1 at 35. This one is 24 at 19. Well, that one holds more and it's cheaper. That sounds like a pretty good deal if you ask me. Let's bring it to the farm here and buy that. Again, I gotta say, I do love that feature. I mean, yeah, you know, it cost a couple hundred extra bucks, but hey, why not, right? Okay, then let's uh, get back in the first person view here. Do I need to like push a button here for unloading? I'm, I'm assuming I must. Let's uh, let's see, forward, uh, left, right, shift gears. Uh, unload. Ah, okay. Let's turn that kind of back off. Unload. There we go. A very interesting uh, animation, I must say. Looks like that could uh, maybe use just a little bit of work. Although I do get what they're doing with that. That is actually kind of cool. Kind of a little bit of a spiral effect to it. That is very much what you'd see in real life as well. Just the uh, the animation itself I think needs a little bit of help. I'd like to be able to see if in the see in the trailer if I can. Let's see if I get in the tractor. Can I see in the trailer? Yes, I can. Um, I mean, I, I guess that does not. I guess those are really, really huge barley kernels. Wow. Anyway, put the pipe away. Start harvesting here again. I might kind of slowly slides down the hill. Boom. Drops the header. And then we harvest at a blistering 30. Up to 30, 35, 40 kilometers an hour. Whoa, speed harvesting. Okay, that's a little bit ridiculous. Oh, did I not fully finish him? Uh, um, did I not? I guess I didn't finish him. Did I? Or did we get... Nah, we didn't get that much. Did we? I probably wasn't paying attention. I just kept on harvesting. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and uh, fully unload here a minute. Parking brake. Unload. Okay, we'll have to say the uh, fill animation appears to be much, much smoother than what uh, Giants has here. Very good parking brake, too, apparently. Stops you dead cold. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and put that pipe away. Oops, sorry on the mouse. Haven't quite figured out how to uh, master the uh, mouse controls here yet. Slow things down a little bit. Well, on to the next field, Evan. That seems like a pretty good spot to wrap it up here for this episode. We'll come back next episode. We'll start harvesting this field. And remind me too, Evan, I need to show you folks how to do the hired workers here in this game. It is definitely a bit of a process, shall we say. A bit of a process. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until next time.